In this video, we'll be having a look at the all new Chaos Linux, which delivers one of the most unique Linux experiences you can have. Chaos is a very interesting Linux distribution because it has a very different take on what an operating system must be. Less is more seems to be the driving philosophy behind this Linux distribution. While most operating systems focus on delivering more and more features, shiny elements and other bells and whistles, Chaos advertises the absence of all these things. And after using Chaos as my daily driver, I can see why this approach might be really appealing to you. Chaos might just be your next operating system. So let's jump right in and have a look at the user interface, performance, software choice, stability and see what makes Chaos so unique. And finally see if this distribution is the cure for your distro hopping. Chaos is a lean and minimal operating system built with a focus on the KDE Plasma desktop. It uses only one toolkit and supports only one architecture. Chaos offers a small set of packages and the primary goal here is to deliver an integrated and high quality computing experience. Quality is prioritized over quantity here. Chaos is an independent Linux distribution, which is a dying breed, but this project has been going strong since a decade and has released the 2022.12 version recently. Talking about the user interface, we get KDE Plasma 5.26.4 here, which is the latest version at the moment. By default, the main panel is stacked vertically on the right side of the screen for some unholy reason, which of course needs to be corrected and we are even going to change the wallpaper to something colorful before proceeding here. Alright, much better. Chaos places a big focus on Plasma Desktop because KDE Plasma is very efficient with resources while not compromising on anything. This desktop is also powered by the Qt toolkit which is another central element of this distribution. I'll talk about it in a bit. Chaos comes with Plasma only and no other desktop environments are provided here. KDE Plasma is one of the best desktop interfaces. It has that familiar bottom panel based workflow which is both very intuitive as well as comfortable for a majority of people. This menu is fast and organized and we get the system tray here for quick controls. Desktops like GNOME can discombobulate people who are absolutely new to Linux. Plasma on the other hand can make newcomers feel at home. It's also much easier getting work done on Plasma if you're from Windows background. Plasma desktop is also highly functional with every desktop feature baked in. At times, the options can make you feel overwhelmed. Chaos developers have toned down these options to make Plasma more consumable and I loved it. Chaos developers do get that bombarding users with a lot of options and choices can be bad at times. And this concept has formed the very core principle behind Chaos and it really makes Chaos stand out as an operating system. We get a custom theme that makes everything look super clean. The icon pack is minimal yet colorful. Desktop animations and effects are toned down here. This makes the desktop less dramatic but it's much better for focus and productivity. I agree, user interface as we get out of the box might not be the biggest selling point of chaos. But with a few minutes of tweaking, it provides a gorgeous as well as functional user interface. It's KD Plasma. You can turn it into anything you can imagine. A new cohort of my Linux Mastery live coaching program is starting soon, where I'll take you right from installing a Linux distribution to an advanced Linux user. You'll start with the fundamentals of Linux and master more than 100 commands. Then we'll proceed to master shell scripting, Linux system administration, Linux networking and many more advanced topics. And the whole course will be live so you'll be learning from me in real time and getting all your questions answered at the same time. So book your spot right now. Chaos delivers a surprisingly good performance. Chaos by design is meant to be very lean and lightweight. It comes with a minimal number of applications pre-installed. And all the apps here are powered by Qt technologies. While it is possible to install apps built using GTK, none of them are installed out of the box. The decision to use only Qt toolkit brings about a unity of apps and the system becomes more integrated. Plasma and KDE apps are very efficient in terms of performance and the whole system feels very responsive here. Day-to-day -day usage, opening and switching between apps are all very smooth here. Chaos developers have reduced the Plasma glitter and FX to ramp up system responsiveness and it shows here. On larger tasks like compiling and rendering to, Chaos delivers good performance. Overall, in the performance department, Chaos provides a very nimble system for you to log in, get some work done and log off. It's rather on the faster side. Moving on to the software availability front, we see some unique peculiarities here. Chaos doesn't have the largest software repositories. In fact, the software availability here is rather limited. The Chaos team doesn't have any aims to make all the software available here. While I found everything I needed here, the package base is rather small. 
The developers aim to provide a high quality user experience by providing well tested and highly integrated packages. And they understand that this might mean chaos will not be for everyone. It'll be usable by a very small set of people and they are okay with it. You get new software versions here and the Pac-Man package manager is used here. We get Octopi software manager to install and remove software graphically. It gives the old synaptic kind of experience and it is quite powerful. The software situation on Chaos means that this distro cannot be used by everybody for everything. But for a subset of people who find everything they need here, Chaos becomes an exceptional option. Chaos is a completely independent Linux distribution built from scratch. It is not based on any Linux distribution, but it is inspired by Arch Linux because it's a rolling release Linux distribution and it uses the Pac-Man package manager. I've seen many independent Linux distributions come and go. Some of them had grown too big to fail but still faded out of existence. It's really not easy to maintain an independent Linux distribution. But Chaos, by focusing on a very small user base, a single desktop and a single toolkit has been going strong since 2013. Chaos developers release a new ISO refresh every two months without fail. This consistency and this long heritage, if we can call it that, inspires that confidence to install this distribution knowing that it's going to be around and well supported. Talking about day-to-day -day usability, we get a clean and elegant user interface, a good number of pre-installed applications and access to a set of popular packages. This makes Chaos a very good operating system for home users. You can browse around the internet, do some work using the office suit and you also get a good set of utilities. While this operating system is not specialized for any particular task, for your average home usage, it is pretty good. One area where Chaos struck me as particularly extra appealing is gaming. Think about it, you're getting a fresh system with a modern desktop and always new packages. It's ultra lean by design and there is no bloat. The entire thing is powered by the Qt toolkit and there are no other additives here. You'll also get continuous and very well tested updates as this is a rolling release. A system that needs very less attention makes a great system for gaming. You can install a good number of games from the Octopi store here. Then we can also install Steam here. Steam has a huge library of Linux games like the Tomb Raider series, CSGO, Dota 2 and many more. Additionally, using Steam Play, you can play thousands of Windows exclusive games here and they install and run like they are Linux native. There's no installation or configuration hassle. Once you enable Steam Play, pick a game and click on install and it'll install. Then click on play and the game will run. AAA titles like GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077, The Witcher 3, Armor 3, Dying Light and many more run great here. And Chaos comes with all the graphics drivers including Nvidia proprietary drivers pre-installed. So you'll be getting the best possible gaming performance from your system all the time. All these aspects make Chaos a very good candidate for gaming on Linux. Chaos is fairly simple to install and get started with. Chaos supports only 64-bit processors, no other architectures are supported so you get only one ISO file to download. Once you download the ISO, write it onto a USB stick and live boot from it. If you have Nvidia hardware, make sure to boot using the Nvidia non-free option. We get the latest version of Calamari's installer here. It provides you good control over your installation. You get good set of options to completely personalize your Chaos installation. There's option to choose the office suit and there's also an option to perform a minimal install which comes without any system utilities or media players. But I guess the normal installation itself would be a better option in most cases as you get a completely usable system and it too doesn't necessarily come with any bloat. Overall, installing and getting started with Chaos is fairly simple and takes around 20 minutes. Chaos is a very unique distribution. It's not like most other operating systems on the market. Because Chaos brings something entirely different to the table and that's minimalism. And minimalism can be a very big aspect for those who can embrace it. There are no large software repositories and there is no choice of desktop environments. But if you enjoy using the KD Plasma desktop and what software you need are available in the Chaos repositories, then Chaos simplifies life for you. It's a lean operating system and it's intelligent in choosing an advanced set of technologies and sticking with that particular set. Chaos can be a great operating system for you if it works for you. If it works for you, there are chances it'll be the better option for you. And if it doesn't work for you, hey, there is no shortage of Linux distros. You'll know only after you give it a try. The download link for Chaos is given in the description below. Definitely check it out. Well, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're interested in learning Linux with me, use the link in the description below to sign up for a free demo session. Next up, check out the top 15 must-have flatpak apps that will supercharge your Linux experience. You'll really enjoy that video.
This is Linux Tech. See you in the next one.